Hi, this is Brooklyn Avenue. I also am known as uh, Doc Wyoming. And I'm going to take you through a quick walkthrough of how I built this micro motorboat. And uh, before I do, I want to give thanks to two people who inspired it. Uh, the first is Paul Elkins, who is a micro boat builder. He builds pretty much everything. I'll put a link to his uh, videos if you don't know him already. And the other is Brian Davis, or American Boathead. Uh, and I built this boat specifically on his plans, the Miss Courtney 8-foot boat. It only cost a few dollars for the plans. Uh, I did make a few changes though, and we'll see those in a minute. The, the main change is this boat is modular. A modular boat allows you to easily transport it. Everything for this boat was purchased at a local Home Depot, and you can see the price here that I paid for everything, although I had to go back a couple of times for smaller objects. The modules are put together by bulkheads, and you decide the size you want of the bulkhead, but that's basically what the shape of a bulkhead looks like. Um, the sides of the boat or the module are, are attached directly to the bulkhead and they're attached with stainless steel screws that you can see a close-up of right here. I ended the first day of the build by basically matching up what the bottoms would be for each module and I put them in the garage for the night. On day two I started to add rails to the main part and uh, what I did next was I used fiberglass and glue to attach the bottoms to the boat. And you can get a nice close up here of what it looks like. And you don't worry about neatness at this point. You just want to make sure that you get a lot of glue and I've got tacks also to attach the bottom to the boat. After fiberglassing, you're going to want to do a water seal. I would suggest Thompson's water seal, but perhaps a varnish for the bottom of the boat. Either way, you need two coats. You can get an idea of how I placed the rails here. And next, what you do is just caulk the heck out of the boat, both parts. And uh, again, there's another close-up of the rails I used. The next part was a fun part. I learned this from Brian Davis. And basically, I wanted to make it look like a classic motorboat. And you can do that very cheaply by using Park Super Glaze, which is used for bar tables. And you can get a nice look of it right here. And after I had that done, the next thing to do was just to check the boat for leaks, which I was able to do by just putting it in my pool. And just to make sure, I found something called Flex Seal, which you can see on the boat there. It's basically a rubber spray, and that really did the job. Steering mechanism here. Oh, hitting some weeds. Like a weedy river. What's interesting about this trip is that I'm actually driving home. Uh, I live right along the Wakaiba River, and uh, so I don't have a dock, and my house doesn't go right up to the river. So I'm going to park it basically next to one of my neighbors and, and walk home. This is where it gets really Florida. And yeah, there's probably alligators in here. And then there'll be, then you'll find, you'll find a place where you see an alligator, then you'll find uh, 50 feet down where there'll be people swimming in it. Never get out of the boat. It's goddamn right. Never get out of the boat. Absolutely goddamn right. Let's head home. That's not my house. Though. I'm a little further down. Definitely some nice houses. A little dock if I need one. You 
can see they got a pretty serious boat. Pontoon boat. I'll say a pretty serious dock. This is like literally my, well, there's a row between me and them. But this is like my next door neighbor, just about. Don't even know him. Got a lot of boats. Cool. It's my emergency backup motor. Also, can be used for steering. Uh, I hereby declare this island the name of Doc Wyoming. Very small island, but it's mine. My house is, or, is right back behind those woods, so I've got to pick a spot to get to and get through. You can see, see it's kind of weedy. how fast I'm going. Okay, now we're going to do a round trip. I stopped home, get a beverage. Basically what I was doing, I was looking for a good port to launch from, it's, and it's annoying, but there's little spots right next to my house, but they're just not very good, they're not very accessible, and I should have filmed it. In fact, there was about a two-foot snake at one point, a blunder, I should have filmed it. Uh, I also heard a hog, which I'm not hog wild about. Pretty dangerous out here. It's crazy to be out here. Uh, Man, if you were right, never get out of the fucking boat. Right, I declare this island for Doc, Wyoming. I've decided to uh, surrender the island to the bugs and make it a nature reserve. Oh, wait a minute. I hereby declare this island in the name of Doc, Wyoming. Aha, now I have